Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So I've got kind of one big thing to show you today and that is a order that I'd done with, with Tonic Studios. Now I was actually told another crafty friend said to me that Tonic have a clearance section and they've got up to 61% off and the cardstock's really good over there. So I have had Tonic cardstock in the past, so I was already familiar and it, is, and it is good quality, so I knew it was gonna be good. However, it was 78 pence for five sheets. Now, when you look at other companies and you look at 12 by 12 papers, that's a bargain, 78 pence. So I got two of each, so I've got 10, so I've got nice even numbers, and I have a huge amount of colors here. So I'll just bring it up on the side. You can see everything I've got there, but this is now, you know, pretty much my cardstock for the year. This and with my pattern papers that I've been sharing recently. I just done, you know, a big kind of restock after Christmas and, and everything. I, I go through a lot, I donate stuff, I give stuff to my mum and a lot of the Christmas stuff in that, I put stuff away. So when you put all this in place of that, you know, you've got lots of gaps. So I'm filling it all up and um, I will put everything into, you know, kind of rainbow order so I can see everything and yeah I'm really pleased with all this so it's 216 GSM but once you add your mats and layers it's it's perfect so it's you know it's great for your gift bags and boxes and your cards so it's it's a, an all-round very good card stock so I am going to just flick through the colours excuse the glare I don't really want to take everything out of the packaging but I've got um if I can see where it says the colours on these I don't know oh yeah there we go so we've got this is cherry red so I've got two of those then I've got navy blue uh, this is a ivory white and it's a weave textured again these were all 78 pence each and it's still all on there this is arctic blue love that one and then you've got your blossom pink I mean they're they just scream baby shower and then I have this one is ballet pink really nice then we've got pistachio green I did have I think it was a it was a certain red one and they emailed me to say that that had sold out there was no more left um, but I've got other one here. This is buttermilk yellow, really lovely fresh yellow there. This is ocean blue. Then I have raspberry pink, uh, coral pink, oyster grey. But this way, you know, I've got papers, cardstocks that's going to match every single you know one of my pattern paper pads so it's it's nice when you can get things to to match up well excuse the the pink there I was doing some lipstick swatches <laughs> and it's stained I brought a lip stain so at least I know it is going to stain because I can't get it off my hand and um, then I've got fuchsia pink um aubergine purple I love this one amber yellow really really nice oh um marigold yellow Ooh, spearmint green, love the names, brick red, um, rose pink, I've got a black, this is the jet black, because you know some blacks are more grey so it's, it's you know good to, that one is a black black, and then fern green, love that one, it's going to be a good Christmas green, and that was it, I think it was a Christmas red because I remember thinking oh the Christmas green colour and then yeah but they didn't have that one in the end and then two blues here so I've got this is cornflower blue I love cornflower blue and then teal blue so yeah I've got a really nice considering this is my bread and butter this is what I need for every single tutorial for everything I do I need cardstock so to have oh sorry I lost my focus a little bit there let's pop it back down to have all of that I just thought was really good so I had to also put some other things in my basket so but it's another bargain and that is these so these are still on there at the moment and they are they were 15.99 down to 4.99 in fact I can get into them now these are the other ones the little snips that I've got and these are dressmaking ones and they can be used for your card making but I am at the moment I'm starting to make some quilts and some other soft furnishings and my <laughs> my older fabric scissors are these ones which I could still use but I have been very naughty and use them back on paper again so these ones are just going to stay there now but I've got these ones which were going in a completely different section and uh, they will be kept for that. But for 4 99 from 16, I thought was really, really good. Um, and they've got, these ones I think are still on there. I think they've gone down as well. So there's quite a few, but they are, again, 
you know that they're made well. Titanium coated blades, double double beveled blades, that's a mouthful. Titanium dressmaker shears, and they got the Kush grip, which is this one here, which make your hands smile. They are comfortable, yeah, I'll give them that, they are. So uh, yeah, they are 9.5 inches, 24 centimeters if you want the measurements, so I thought that was good. And then I had a little look at their stamps. These want, well, they were still reduced. Let me just get the right ones. Um, they were 17.99 down to nine pound each. So that, that isn't, I know that's still, you know, I think it's still quite high for stamps, but I do love these kind of ones and they're just gonna be so good for my friends, children and things. I just, I love that you can change their little outfit. So they look like they're all the same, but they're not. So this one here, you've got, that is celebrate life, celebrate success and celebrate friendship. So you've got your little pig, your little chick, your sheep and your cow. This is a rabbit, bear, a cat and a dog. And then here you've got your owl, your fox, your deer, and maybe that's the fox and that's the badger. Yeah, because he's got a bit of a stripy tail. Or I guess it could be, I'm gonna say it's a badger. Yeah, it's not a skunk. <laughs> but you've got all these little, little toadstools, little satchel, school satchel, pens, little hats, and you can change their little outfits on them. I think they're brilliant. So I know I'm gonna use them. And um, you've got the nice cake there. Here you've got the little toad, look, little shorts. Got the little watering can, the little chick, the little picket fence. There's um the pumpkin there. So again, these are going to work for other seasons. And I have lots of like other stamps, which are Christmas ones with like maybe a Christmas hat. Or last week I shared those little Christmas hat stickers. It's these kind of images that you can add them onto. So you can eat, you can turn these into Christmas stamps as well. You know, I've put a Merry Christmas sentiment or, you know, um, a Thanksgiving one with the pumpkins or Halloween. You know, you can, you can certainly pull bits from stamps and kind of mix them up and stuff but this one here I love the the globe there as well on the paintbrush and you've got the little graduation cap I just think they're really cute so they were a bit more that was a a, a splurge really because that for those three it's you know almost as what I paid there on the um the cardstock but um yeah I am pleased with what I got there so that was that and I've got one little charity shop thing which is these, which is an absolute bargain because I believe there was a load of Craft Buddy branded stock and um, there's this particular charity shop in town has quite a nice craft area. Some of it they have priced too high and some of it's very, very old craft stuff. But there was these in there and I've seen these being shown on Creating Craft under Craft Buddy. I can't remember the name that they used. And... Let me just take it all out of the packaging because I will sort these all out now. So basically what you do, here you have your, I guess the stem or like the, the kind of fixing for the flowers to kind of build on. And then these bits here, I think that one goes underneath and that one goes, I'm going to need to watch a video and they're the leaves. But basically all of these you have, well, just in that one bag, the 70 of that particular petal. You've got 35 of that one. They are just like squashed together. But if you can see there, when you peel it all apart, you see all of them. There's absolutely tons. And you build up the flowers and you can make beautiful ones. There you've got 240 pieces. There's absolutely tons. And it was two pound for each bag. So I paid four pound for all of this. And there are hundreds and hundreds of flowers. 80 in that one, 70, 70, 70. They did have a few more as well, but basically what you do, I mean, I'm just kind of guessing it. I'm, well, I have seen it, but I, now I've got it in front of me, I can't quite remember exactly what to do, but I will have a look. They're all fabric, but they're great for just doing as little embellishments, but also for that envelope cards that so many of you are making. You're doing some really gorgeous ones. So I'm just going to put that one, and I think you need... got 175 of these. So I think, is it something like... You do that, and then that will shape the flower but you can obviously layer up different ones there is a tool that I've seen them use as well to push them all on but I'm going to make do I've only paid four pound for this so I don't want to or maybe ah no I know what you do I think you do that and then like layer them up ah yeah that's right and then that will shape it at the end you see and you'll start to get like a carnation 
for example. That's what I think they can give you different effects. Like I said, I'm going to look, and I'm sure some people watching now have already got it. Um, I will work out exactly how they are made. So uh, yeah, don't worry. But it's something like that. But also, what I thought, I mean, you can just see how that's starting to come together. I thought it'd be nice, and there's the leaves. I mean, I don't know whether I like the grill. Oh, that's all. Oh no, that one's a bit dodgy there. Maybe they were, take out some of those. Maybe some of them are seconds a little bit. Because that looks all a little bit suspicious there. That doesn't look great. I'm not too worried about the leaves because I'll probably add my own die cut leaves. Yeah, they all look a bit misshapen actually. But then I guess it doesn't matter too much. It's, I don't know if they should be that stiff or not. Who knows? They might have been in an environment, I don't know, where it was a bit warm, where the heat was a bit dodgy. Let me just put that underneath. But you can see there how you kind of get the leaves and stuff. But I'll probably use my own die cuts. But what I also thought is that you can build the flower up just flat, stick it on a card and put a nice, you know, gemstone in the middle there. So, yeah. I love my flowers, I love all these kind of things and they would have come in handy for that envelope card but now I've got them now. I love this one here, yeah because I think the bigger kind of caps there will give you another look again so let's have a little, I'm going to go onto the Craft Buddy website and see, let's put that one in there and then that one and then do that one. Yeah, see that gives a different effect, doesn't bring them in as close and obviously you need to put a lot more in there and I imagine there are like stamen ones, that, you know, the details and stuff you can get, to be honest there was a lot in there but I, I had my hands full and I, you know it was near the end of the day so, but I don't know, I think they're going to look really cool, I'm going to have a play around with them but like I said, even if I don't use these all the time, I think these look really pretty to just layer up add your own die cut kind of leaves behind them, put a nice embellishment inside and because they're so soft they will lie nice and flat so it makes it easy to post as well. Things like this are going to be better on like maybe a gift tag or the, a topper on a gift box or something, something that maybe you know isn't going to get crushed in postage but yeah I thought they were really really good. Like I said there's so many here and look at those ones there like blue with the green. These I love. I think they're going to make really nice carnations when they're layered up. Let's just shove a... Let me just do three. I'll just speed this up just so you're not bored. So there's five of those ones. And if you push that up underneath... And then I think you like add the lid. But look at that. Isn't that cool? And I imagine you could maybe put these over so it covers it. Like I said, I need to have a better look, but they, I know when I remember watching it on Crit and Craft, not that long ago, it was this year, I thought they looked really good. Like some of them looked so beautiful. And when you've got a lot of them, you know, in a vase or if you're doing, you know, I don't know, just some decor home decor, you know, on like a shadow box frame or something. So yeah, there it is anyway. So I'm going to have a good play around with that. Like I said, look up some videos of making these up and uh, yeah see what I can do with them. These ones here I imagine you could colour as well with like your inks and stuff and there I mean look there's just absolutely tons of them all on top of it. So the white ones are actually really nice and that orange there they're gonna look beautiful as well so yeah I'm really pleased with that for £4 I think it's really good. Okay so that is everything and I will not be sharing any more cardstock for a long time unless it's what I've been given then that's different but in terms of what I'm purchasing this is it, no more. And yeah, I love the stamps, they're just really cute. And again, the things like that, they just don't date, you can keep them all the time. And my scissors, you won't really see these, but I'm really pleased with them, so yeah. But you will see the flowers, because I'm gonna be using them on things, no doubt. And I'm probably gonna make quite a few up. Once I've kind of figured it out, I'll probably make a lot up, and I've got some really nice glass jars that I like to keep everything in, because I like things displayed, and I like them in things that I can see through, so then, my room inspires me. When I walk into my room, I look around and I think, do you know what? I've not used them for a long time. Let's create something with that. So that's why I like to see everything. So this is going to be nice and colourful and we'll brighten it up even more. So yeah, that's everything. I will link all of this because there is, you know, still a lot there. And like I said, click on that clearance and you'll be able to find some, uh, yeah, hopefully some cool things and maybe even get these scissors as well because you can use these for paper. There's no, no issues at all there. But um, yeah, I just wanted some that are never going to be used on paper. So anyway, thank you for watching and I'll be back again soon with another video. Bye!